I've had to stop and I'll show you why. Daddy, because we haven't been at the build for the last three days. We have little Snuggsy Bunny here, Emma, and we have Daddy over there that has pretty much finished it. Timing's impe impeccable as always, Anna. Well, it is late afternoon. <laughs> and uh, how are the kids? Well, how's Emma doing? Well, she's uh, she's snuggling in her push chair, and she's come to admire Daddy. And how are you doing after the third jab? Well, my arm is painful and I couldn't sleep. But, I mean, you you didn't stop. You continued. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it a bit now, though. But... You have... I'm done. You are done. Almost. Almost, yes. But still, the majority is done. Now, you know what happened? No. Well, first of all, I sent Cyril home... Um, about half an hour ago and I thought I'll just do the last mix myself so I had enough to do here and then I realized I've got that bit there and I've got no oh. cement left so I'll have to do it on uh, another day oh so it's okay just a little bit because you still yeah. and the you? other and the other thing that were you looking outside at all today before you got here it was rainy and yes. it's still, I mean, it's on and off, and I don't know how you managed it with all well, the rain. Well, it, it, it kept raining on it, and uh, we've got a little bit of sand coming through, but it should be fine. It, you is, see. it is looking really, really good. And you know what? There's no puddles, so that's a good sign. I might be missing a little bit of concrete down here, but that doesn't matter. I can always put a bit more uh, tile adhesive. Yeah, it's looking really good. Yeah. Um... So yeah, not the best day to be doing concreting, but I thought I'd just power on through, get it finished. That means it can dry off for the next couple of days. And then you know what happens? We get the delivery of travertine. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. This is why I was pushing to get this done really quickly, because I've got nowhere to put it otherwise. It's just gonna have to be moved and moved and moved. Whereas if this is finished, I can just, yeah. I won't put it in big stacks. I'm gonna have to spread it out a bit all over all over here ready to do the tiling to be fair yeah but it's looking good and the thing is next week we're due to have good weather at the end of the week so i might even have to start tiling next week that sounds good um well, so it's yeah be it's a massive massive change yeah i've been doing a little bit of calculating as well we uh we need like three meters cubed of concrete either side of the main entrance mm -hmm. i've not calculated the path in yet but the um, drive on the other side, mm -hmm. 27 meters cubed. <gasps> that puts oh, because it's for the getting in the garage. Yeah, it's, uh, it makes this look like a small task. Yeah. And but it's, it's, not, it's not that much to pull. It's more thicker. You know, it's like thicker. It's like at least 12 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I might cheat and get the pump in for that yeah. it's three loads so yeah no that might be it, I, I'm, I, I need to get things finished I need yeah. to get them all rattled no, off really no. quick okay no. it might be fairly expensive but not as expensive as pumping it over here yeah there they can at least pump it next to it's, it's next to the road yeah and I can get the auto level concrete so I really don't need to do much you just go along like that and it, I've done that for the Go foundations on, over there. It again, then. Well, you just get like a bar and you're just like this. You can even make your own bar, which is what I did out of wood. So I did that for the extension. <clears throat> but I have to get permission off the Mary to close the two parking spots off. Oh, yes. So the. But, I mean, that's just paperwork. But no, that sounds like a better I don't know. Thing. We'll see. I, what I could do is get 27 metres cubed of gravel delivered, mm -hmm. or the equivalent of what I need for 27 metres cubed of concrete, and then uh, I can get it delivered there, you see, because it's right on the job. Yeah. So, we'll see. I just want to see the pads where, obviously, this part here, there's been a 
Unless it wasn't the cat that walked there. Yeah, no, the cat's maybe done a few paw prints over the far end. Oh. There, where are you going? That in there. I'm just going to have a look over there. Oh, it's, it's almost there. Yeah? Yeah. You're walking. Well, yeah, you're allowed to walk on this bit. Look, here's your paw prints. Oh, yes, 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 I can see them. But it was almost dry. It must have been almost dry by the time she, she or he, the little catty, got on here because mm -hmm. didn't go in much. Mm -hmm. Also, interesting for some of the guys who like concrete is I've decided that because we've got so much backfill here, mm -hmm. the concrete's fairly thick, but because we've got so much backfill, I decided to whack in some rebars, so pieces of metal, uh -huh. drill a hole into this, whack some metal in, and uh, that was before I, uh, I popped this uh, shuttering concrete yeah, down here. Ba basically what it's doing is, if ever there's like a, a cavity below, it won't just fall, it'll stay level. Oh, that's good to know, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. It was the only place where it was quite uh, a lot of backfill. The rest didn't have too much backfill, so I didn't bother. So there we go. That's it. Come on, then. let's go back in. So I arrived at the build this morning. We've had quite a lot of rain overnight um, and it's causing a few problems inside. So I've got a little bit of work to do outside. Uh, basically, uh, there's a couple of downspouts off the roof that uh, we dug a little hole for um, so that the water could drain into the hole. Um, it is really, really um, kind of porous soil, um, but the water's just a bit too much really for, for the hole I dug. So I'm gonna to have to dig a bigger hole um, and just let it drain a bit, just for the time being. I mean, in about two weeks, probably gonna be doing all the drainage anyway, um, but just for the time being, so I can get on with my work, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna dig um, this hole a bit bigger. Um, so I'll show you where, what, what the problem is and, um, and I'll get on the mini digger. So this is where we had the trips. Um, they, they've dried up off the roof. We've got a little bit of uh, water coming in through this wall because that's where the downspout is over there and again through this wall but the main problem is in the garage which is on the other side of this wall and it comes right through into this side so it's coming right through to here so we've got all water coming in here basically none of this is coming through the doorway it's all coming from this hole here and basically the water is just backing up here so what I'm gonna have to do is dig this hole a bit further that way and a bit wider so that we can let the water go that way like I say it's only temporary and uh, and I'll be dealing with the drainage in in the next couple of weeks whilst I come for the mini digger um, I just sort of check one thing and that is have we got any puddles on the terrace that's now finished um, and um, do we need dilation joints so basically as concrete um, as per any material when it's heated it can expand and when it's cooled it can contract and that can cause cracks in the concrete um, and so normally after a certain size of of uh, base like a concrete pad you do need um, dilation joints I was looking online and the maximum you can go to is like 30 meters in any direction so I thought it was all right um, and let's let's check if I am all right so firstly I can't see any puddles on this terrace we do have a little tiny bit of water hanging around here but that's normal because that's where all the water's coming to and I can deal with that with the tiles. Um, so all of this is all 
um, is all perfect and even where we had a little bit of rain on the on as we poured the concrete it's only really superficial so the first couple of millimeters the rest is fine and it's all gone off it's nice and hard probably not finished curing yet but it's it's definitely gone off um, I've just checked the size and I'll come in this corner to show you I think in this direction even to the other side of the pool we're at 20 meters and then the other direction we're at about 15 meters so neither one is 30 and there's lots of room for expansion around the edge um, even if it pushes on the plastic a little bit we're only talking millimeters here so even if it pushes on this plastic uh, grill a little bit well that's not going to do anything either so i don't think i need dilation joints um, the only place might have needed some is around the building um, because it's two different concrete pads but um, i think we'll even be fine with that the pool does seem to be filling up nicely now um, so as soon as it stops raining this week we're going to get that pumped out and let it dry um, and we'll see if the the resin guy can come but i'm not so sure it's going to align right uh, so that he can come and get it done before the weekend and then i think next week it's due to rain again okay let's get that hole dug so i'm going to give uh, give it a go trying to fill and um, dig at the same time Unfortunately, Emma's still a little bit ill with a cold. Um, we have talked to the doctor and she um, she agreed with us that it seems like it's on its way out again. So let's hope that sorts itself out, but it doesn't make it very easy to film uh, digging and, uh, and filming at the same time. too bumpy um, you can see I've really lowered the level of the water and it's not just because I've made a bigger, ho bigger hole it should now drain a lot easier <clears throat> I've had to stop and I'll show you why as I've been digging I found this it is a plastic covering that's put a little bit above a some kind of pipe um, I'm not up on which one it would be um, but I think it's possibly telecom. Um, so I'm not going to dig anymore. Um, I'm going to stop there. Last thing I want to do is rip the tele telecom cable out. Um, the other thing it could be is power. And of course, I don't want to go anywhere near that. So I'm stopping there. And let's have a look at how the, uh, the trench is looking. Yeah, so that green, um, that green piece of plastic is possibly telecom plus possibly power last thing i want to do is hit power or telecom to be fair but power would probably be a bit worse i'd expect 
Um, so I'm going to stop there. Let's have a look at the uh, the trench, see how it's looking. Really, I need to get a, an elbow on that and uh, a piece of pipe, just bringing it all the way along here, just temporary to this hole. This was full before and overflowing back through towards this wall and pouring through into the build. That's now good. The water from that down pipe is now going into the hole and hopefully with the uh, the area I've got there it should just seep away into the ground um, it's not due to rain for much longer anyway but at least that dries the build out because one of the next jobs is getting the um, the joist down ready for the floor and I don't want to get that wet or the insulation between the joists